Hi there, this is Andrew from Hot Tub Focus again and today we're going to have a think about um, which is the best sanitizer for your hot tub, um, either bromine or chlorine. Um, I, chlorine and bromine are by far the most popular sanitizers but we, uh, we will have a little bit of a think about some alternatives at the end of the video as well. So chlorine and bromine, well they're both chemicals obviously, um, to a certain extent they're quite closely related, they're both, both halogens I think or they're from very similar areas on the periodic table. So um, in terms of how they work, in terms of actually bromine has to, has to have chlorine in it to make it work, in, in terms of the chemical reaction of how they work, they they kill bacteria essentially in your hot tub is what they do. Um, you, you have to have a sanitizer in your hot tub. Um, Obviously, there's all sorts of dirt and accumulations of stuff from your body, from the outside environment, uh, bits of organic matter, shampoo, food if you eat in your hot tub, all sorts of things floating around in the water, which basically left unchecked becomes extremely unhygienic, very dangerous. Um, and very unpleasant. Um, and a sanitizer, be it bromine or chlorine or whatever, essentially zaps the bacteria, it kills the bacteria. Um, both chlorine and bromine do this in a, as I say, in a similar way. Um, and but 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 the result after they've done this is different. Actually, in the case of chlorine, and this is one of the one of the big advantages of chlorine to a certain extent, is that it decays after um, it's done its work. And actually, when it once it's when it's decaying, that's when you can smell the really strong chlorine smell. I say that's an advantage because to a certain extent it allows you to keep the level of chlorine under control a bit more because it, it, it will it will go down if you just just leave it. So um, if you want to put your water out on the grass after you've you've used it after you've drained your hot tub, if you've allowed a couple of days for your chlorine level to go down, you can do that. With bromine, it doesn't always decay that much. There's always bromine in the water. So once bromine's done its work. Um, it stays at a relatively constant level. There are pros, there is pros and cons to them. Chlorine's a lot cheaper. Chlorine's cheaper than bromine. Um, you may well need to use more chlorine because of because it decays, as I just said. Um, and also, you need to chlorine's a bit less forgiving. Also, you need to be a bit more on on on. Point. That's a terrible expression. You need to be a bit more on the ball, a bit more on the ball with your water chemistry. So your pH levels have to be pretty much absolutely accurate for chlorine to work really, really well. Um, bromine's a bit more forgiving. It will work in a wider range of pH levels. And as I say, it will keep on working. So if you, you know, if you forget to check your levels, it's not, it's not drastic with bromine. It will continue working. Although I always have a sense of sitting in a bromine soup with bromine because it's always it's sort of always there and it doesn't decay. Whereas chlorine, you know, you can over chlorine, but it will go away. It doesn't sort of build up and build up and build up. Um, both of them have a certain smell. Chlorine, chlorine is a bit more, well, health wise, chlorine's known to be a bit more it's irritating it irritates skin it dries out hair it can give you a skin rash it can obviously make your eyes red it smells not particularly great sometimes um, also chlorine is known to uh, cause respiratory issues as well for some people you might find you know that it doesn't help if you have asthma for example bromine in theory at least is much less much less active it's supposed to be a little bit easier to to live with i have a bit of an issue with both though to be honest it's never occurred to me before until i really started looking into this for this post you these are these are both pretty nasty chemicals um and i've sat in chlorine for a long time <laughs> swimming pools we drink chlorine in the water you know it's in our food it's sometimes as a as a preservative um it's not great to a certain extent um, so uh, having researched this, it does worry me that I've also read links between uh, about uh, chlorine and cancer. There's no, I can't really come up with any categoric answer as to whether there is a, there is a link between the two. I'm not a medical professional. I've just been looking this up for my own, my own amusement and to make these videos and to write on the blog. But that does concern me. So I've been looking and I will be looking at alternative sanitizers, much more natural sanitizers. I've been looking at the whole eco thing to do with hot tubs um, generally. Um, 
and salt water sanitation sounds like a really good bet to me it's going to be more expensive but essentially it's it's, it's the uh, um, electrolysis reaction between salt water and between sorry yes salt and warm water i think it is creates naturally occurring chlorine um there are downsides but that's worth looking at you can also um get uv sanitization systems where essentially the microbes and microorganisms are zapped with uv which is pretty green and pretty safe and obviously doesn't smell etc etc there's also ionization and ozonation as well so there are alternatives to using um chlorine that they're more expensive but my sense is that they're healthier um probably 100 percent better for the environment as well having said that though you, you, there's no categoric evidence on this as far as I can see. If you are using chlorine and bromine and you're following the instructions and your water chemistry is good and you're taking readings and you're aware of how much there is and et cetera, et cetera, it is, it is supposedly completely safe. Um, that is, that's what, you know, what we're being told. Um, so you have to sort of take that as red. You make your own decision on it, don't you? If you are trying to choose between those two which are essentially sort of beginner I suppose sanitation systems I would if you're a beginner I'd go for bromine it's easier it's it's simpler you just put the tablets in the dispenser float the thing in the hot tub and off you go um we set it to the right level check here how much water you, you know you've got in your hot tub um chlorine you just have to faff around with a bit more you have to keep an eye on your levels a bit more your ph has to be absolutely spot on all the time for it to be really effective as well so i'd go the bromine route i think it's theoretically a bit more expensive but you use less of it so i think it swings and roundabouts i hope that's been helpful uh ramblings and slight diversions there on chlorine bromine and different sanitizers and and environmental issues as well uh, if you've got any comments or any experience with either or or any of those, that would be really helpful. And I would I'd be really interested in that if you'd like to um, comment below. Also, if you found this video interesting, then subscribe to the channel. You can also find out a lot more about um, the, the chlorine versus bromine or bromine versus chlorine issue um, by looking at Hot Tub, Hot Tub Focus. And I will leave a link in the description below. See you in the next video. Thank you.